What's up, guys? You guys are tuned in to another episode of On the Torch with Davenport. It's your boy. Uh, I'm going to begin it in today. Uh, we're going to kind of keep it a little festive, a little seasonal. Uh, I'm going to make some pumpkins, something that's, um, that they traditionally show you in a glass blowing class how to, how to make. So it's very simple, but I'm going to be making it my style. And, uh, you know, we're going to get right into it. Uh, the torch is good. I'm not 100% yet, so you know your boy got to get that crown. I got that summer collection. You guys are not ready. Plus, I got the little homie Scuba Squad extracts with them diamonds. It's keeping me, uh, it's keeping me real good for the, for the episode. And uh, I want you guys to just relax and just uh, check this shit out. I'm going to make some pumpkins and um, be hooking people up. I don't have my, um, my iPad here to check the comments, but I will soon. They're in the process of bringing that to me. Feel free to uh, drop a like, comment, whatever. Let me know what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys want me to make, if you guys want to suggest anything. But before I do anything, let me smoke this. Again, it's the crown, um, that summer collection. And this shit is fire. I already smoked a, uh, a bowl of it earlier and uh, I'm pretty lit, so I just need to get a little more lit. All right, I'm gonna just jump right into it. Fire up my torch here. Again, I'm working with a Carlisle. This, uh, I like this torch, it's, it's a badass torch. Got a few pieces that I'm like bringing to a sesh in San Diego this weekend. It's called San De Fuego. Um, it's gonna be in the Paradise Hills. If you guys are in the area of San Diego and you guys wanna check that out, tap into their Instagram, you guys can get the um, the address and stuff like that for the event. Um, here's another little piece that I made with some hands, with some claws, inspired by uh, someone here at Cannabis Capital, believe it or not, a while back. And I got some little hands that I made here too, just on the side. I brought some uh, some orange. Uh, shout out to Borobu, he hooked this up right here. I'm gonna pretty much just gather this rod here of glass, I'm gonna get it really hot. I'm gonna make a big gather. Once I get them nice and gathered up, I mean, that's gonna be my base for the uh, pumpkin. <clears throat> now, normally, when you guys are using uh, colors like this, cat colors, they would call them, um, you wanna run your flame not so, not so high. You can do a little oxygen, whatever, but you don't wanna really burn or boil your glass here. So. I'm gonna take my time here and make sure I get this gathered really nice. I don't wanna just burn right through it and put holes, put a bunch of bubbles in it. I wanna, you know, I don't wanna bubble and boil the uh, glass. But that's pretty much essentially what's gonna happen if I do it too hot. The glass gets so hot that it boils within and it traps, <clears throat> it traps all the air inside. It just makes for an uglier piece, you know? So. I'm gonna turn up my oxygen here a little bit, get it going. Hope you guys, wherever you guys are tuning in from, I just wanna give a big shout out to Cannabis Capital. You know, they're always, they're always supportive of your boy. You know, they've been, they've been, um, they've been here, we've been here for a, quite a, quite a, quite a bit. Already doing this, doing the Bud Tender Awards. You know, a lot of love, man. They're gonna be in uh, Las Vegas next week for the business for MMJ. And if you guys are in Las Vegas, you know, check them out. They'll be pretty much walking around, getting all, covering the, uh, the show floor and getting all the footage and stuff like that, I'm sure. Live interviews and things like that. Um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I unfortunately will not be there, but I, it's kind of like last minute for me, but uh, you know, I'm gonna be there in spirit with the squad. Shout out to everybody making it possible. All right, so this bad boy is, um, Starting to gather up nicely here. As you can see, it, it went from a rod to now a nice little gather. Now what I could do is I can do these, a flat pumpkin, which it's kind of like more a flat, so it rests better on your chest there, like a pendant. And for the uh, sake of time, I'm gonna do that. Instead of doing a big pumpkin where it's um, pretty much all the way around 3D, 
uh, this one's going to be flat and just the front side of it is going to have the appearance of a pumpkin. I'm going to add, <clears throat> I'm going to add a little, um, the little stock on the top, maybe a couple of vines coming down the side or something. You know, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but we'll make a couple of them. And as you guys already know, I'll go ahead and gift somebody out there. All you got to do is say, let me get that pumpkin or something like that. It's mine or whatever it is. Uh, make sure you give us your IG so we can get a hold of you. And we'll go ahead and get you on that one. But for now, um, I'm going to finish this up right here. It's just about done. I don't want to make it too, too thick. Um, and I'm also going to make, I'm going to make them out of different colors just because this color here tends to be very, <clears throat> you know, sensitive when it comes to like how much torch I want to give it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to easily, easily just gather it up a little bit more, kind of get it right there on the bottom of that neck. And once I got it to the desired shape and size, I will go ahead and give it a little flat down, just kind of press it just so it flattens so it's not a sphere. I need it to be circular still, but just not a, a sphere. So I'll come in here and I'll smash it down about the same width of the rod. So it's the same width of the rod, so it doesn't go any smaller than that. And I think that's a good size. It's about the size of a nickel, more or less, as far as like diameter. And uh, it's looking pretty good. As far as the shape, size, the thickness, it's all good. So I noticed uh, there's some tool marks on this side here, on this side here. Once, I, once it's flattened with the graphite, it kind of creates a little bit of a ripple. So I like to go in there and, and heat it up, get it nice and hot, get that, um, that temperature up, get that core temperature up higher than 1,000 degrees. And once it starts, you see it start to melt a little bit, that's when you know it's ready. You can kind of pull it right out of the fire and you just kind of let it glaze over. It looks like glass. It just, it just all gets all shiny and, and brand new. All right. <clears throat> so this is the dab tool. I like using the dab tools for carving because as you can see, it's fairly thin. It's also fairly wide, so I can use it as a paddle or a knife. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to <clears throat> create like the first part of the pumpkin. Since it's flat, um, I'm going to start not dead center, but just kind of one this way, one this way. And the reason why I'm doing it in the curve is because uh, I want to give it the appearance of it being more round than what it is. So it doesn't really have to stick out too far because you know, when you look down at it, you still have to look at it and say, wow, that's, it has to look good to you too as well, you know, uh, not just your audience. So with that being said, I'm going to just go ahead and just start that right quick. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to do, that's one side and I'm going to do the other side. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but I made just like a shape, like almost like a football going towards the center here of this. And when it's all said and done, I'll do another one on the other side of each one. And that's going to create the back part of it, the second layer. So I can already see it looking kind of 3D a little bit, or at least the illusion of it being 3D. I'm about to show you guys right now, real quick, how it looks like. So you guys get an idea. So you see how it has like texture to it now? Hopefully you can see that. Up. <clears throat> You'll be able to see it on the gram as soon as it's all done and we get it shipped out to that uh, special person who claims it. He got all the comments and you can claim it. It's yours. All right. <clears throat> so I do like the way the pumpkin looks. The sides, everything's good. And I got rid of all the tool marks. So right now I'm going to punny up with just some clear. And um, punny up just means I'm just going to attach this clear piece of uh, rod here to it so that it can hold it, so I can use it. 
because I'm not done yet. I've still got to peel this off and then I'm going to add the, uh, the little stock on the top and a couple of vines. And then I'll flame anneal it and we'll let it sit bench cool because I did not bring a kiln, but there is no kiln needed for this process. So it's so small that um, it's okay. All right, so now that I got that on there, as you can see, it's hardened and it's strong with that connection there. It's a, it's not just a, you know, it's, it's a, not a cold seal, it's a hot seal. So it's, it's on there. Until I break it off, it's not going anywhere. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and peel this part off though because this is the top part of the, of the pumpkin. Again, thank you Boraboo for hooking it up with the orange. I don't really have that many oranges like at, at the shop because <clears throat> I don't know, I don't, I don't like to work with orange that much or any of the cads should I say. You know, the Neo cads is cool because they, they can take a beating but the cads not so much. I don't mind it if I have to, if they're paying for it, but pref I preferably not. No, I'd rather not. Um, and that's cool. It just, for me, I just, I don't like it. So I'm gonna add the green to the top here. For those of you guys that are just tuning in, uh, it's Davenport. You guys are uh, watching On the Torch with Davenport and you're tuning in to Cannabis Capital here on Twitch. I appreciate you guys um, for, for tuning in and I'm making some pumpkins out of glass. In case you guys are wondering. Um, <clears throat> I'll make another one and I'll do it the way I was going to do this one initially, but because of the color, I'm going to use another color and I'll make a, a nice big round pumpkin. Something, something that can sit really nice on the, uh, I can maybe, maybe make a pumpkin turp pearls. You know, we'll do that. So right now I'm attaching this green color to the orange. And all that's gonna do is it's gonna just pretty much weld it all together here. So it becomes one piece. And then you just need a little bit on the top, just to make that little part on the pumpkin, a little stalk on top, not to be cut. And I can even make it so that it's flattened on top, like they did get cut. And that's just a little extra added detail, which always looks nice. And um, I think it's coming out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and add some vines to it just cause I feel like, you know, why not? I feel like, you know, I'm not really done with this pendant yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a stringer of this forest green and, or actually, excuse me, it's jade green and I'll use it to make the vines. I gotta pull it down fairly thin cause I wanna make the vines fairly thin, but not too thin. So <clears throat> I think that's about right. I'm going to peel it off here and I'm going to add the vines to it. I'm going to warm it up real quick before I do that, just so I can bring it all up back to temperature and then I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to take the string that I just made with this jade green and I'm going to start from the stock part of the uh, pumpkin and just kind of go down the sides here, just a couple. And I'm going to make sure I melt that in. You want to melt that in so that it doesn't um, cause it to crack or break or peel. And, you know, you can add as many vines as you want. Just remember, you know, to melt them in. You want it to all be um, solid, all one piece. You want it to be all sound. And I think that's about it maybe a leaf or something, but I don't want to get too detailed. I just want to get on with the next one here, but holy shit. It's all good. Um, I just want to go ahead and go to the next. All 
Alright. First. Alright, so this one's done. Again, it's gonna be for somebody. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple more pumpkins and who knows? Depending on the time, I could probably put one of them pumpkins in a hand or something. But um here's the first one. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool down right here. And in a little bit, when it's cooled down, I'll, I'll show you guys. It looks dark right now, but it, when it's all cooled and down to temperature, it goes right back to the color. Uh, I love that orange. It's actually a really nice orange. And I'm actually going to just jump right into another color here, which is orange Elvis. Uh, it's another type of orange, which I like better just because I can abuse it. It won't, it won't, uh, it'll bounce right back. I don't have to be too sensitive with it and I can, you know, like I said, I can just kind of like really go at it and make a big, nice fat gather. And this is what I want to do. So the next piece is going to have more so of like a, um, just like a, I want it to just be like more of a 3D rather than just a flat version. But if, in order to do that, I got to gather uh, quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to make sure I get it all over here before I get this whole piece. And if you notice, I'm warming it from the, from the top down to the bottom and then bottom to the top again and that helps gravity bring it all down so it's all solid instead of instead of losing it and going from side to side it's just a good way of like keeping it so it doesn't fall over on itself you want it to look like a mushroom you just keep mushrooming mushrooming until you get a nice so pretty much it turns into a ball and then there you have a nice you'll have a nice uh, size gather there so it's it's starting to form it's starting to form really well. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring down my temperature here, my torch, and it's getting closer and closer. Don't be afraid of the glass. You know, the glass is, is close to my hand, but I'm like used to this shit. So, uh, but still, it's not even that hot. Maybe it is, but your boy's a G, so. Like right now, I can still feel the heat radiating from this to my finger. We still want to go a little bigger on that gather because I want it to be a nice, good sized pumpkin. Some of you guys can like see wherever you guys are at. Thank you guys for tuning in, by the way. You guys are watching uh, Cannabis Capital on Twitch. It's the uh, On the Torch with Davenport, and uh, we're making some pumpkins. So, just big shout out to everybody at Cannabis Capital for making this happen. You know, we love you guys. You guys, you guys are killing it. You're doing this, you guys are really doing something special right here. So, you know, we just want everyone to tune in and, and be a part of it as a community. So, check that out. Check out all the other shows they got on the channel. You know, they're some of them are educational, some of them are funny, some of them are just, you know, you got to see for yourself. And uh, I believe they're filming hijinks tomorrow. Um, that's going to be cool. It's going to be filmed here in front of a live studio audience. And, um, you know, I heard, let me see, I forgot who it was going to be, but um, there's going to be someone here tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be from about 7 o'clock. So if you guys are in the OC out here, and you guys uh, know what's good, you guys want to uh, be a part of it, you guys got to hit up the hijinks on their Instagram. I don't know exactly who, but... I'm sure you guys can uh, go on Cannabis Capital Instagram and um, I'm sure it'll say it right there. All right, so that's the gather I'm gonna I'm gonna do. And then from this gather here, and with this dab tool, I'm gonna slowly just go from one side to the next side to the next side. This way, this way, and as, as I'm going down on it, I'll be spinning it so it's I can create almost like a, the same amount of distance. And it's just a little crease lines that are in the pumpkin. I like to make sure I got the lines in there. But before I do that, there's just a little way I, to get it all straight and how I want it. I kind of have to flatten this out just a little bit because the bottom, I want it to sit. I want it for it to be able to sit down because it's not going to be a pendant or anything like that. It's going to be more like paperweight. But just for the sake of making it, I'm going to make this pumpkin and I'm gonna do it how 
I would do it. I'm going to add a little indentation here on the bottom. That's going to create the part where it kind of goes in underneath the uh, pumpkin. And I do that for two reasons. One is so I can get the center and the, the pumpkin looking like pretty much, you know, I want it to look as pretty close to a pumpkin as possible. So in order to get a nice clean pumpkin, I got to start dead center so that it creates a nice, nice center there. See, you want it to be in the middle. And then from there, you can kind of like go from left to right. You can do it all in one. So you can go all the way across or you can do it one by one. I like to go all the way across because then it just helps keep it um, pretty symmetrical. So whatever you do on this side happens to the other side. And now it's starting to look like a screw, like a Phillips screw head. And that's good. So now you want to go from an X, keep going, put more X's in it. I call them X's or T's. Uh, they're just basically lines that go to the center here in, in, in an order so that it does have the appearance. Now, it's already looking like the bottom of a pumpkin. You may not be able to see that, but it's already got its little part that goes in and uh, almost like little feet, which is, I think is pretty cool. So I'm just going to go right here back in the middle. And just kind of get one of these little extra little swirls because I really want it to be sunken in on the inside there. I'm going to bring it back up to temperature real quick. I'm going to grab my dab tool and I'm going to continue the line. So each line that I created, I got one, two, three, four, I did four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I did four crosses, four T's. So for each line that I created, I have to bring that line down, 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 down. So it's constantly going towards this part here, which is going to be the top part of the pumpkin once it's done. So I'm going to keep my torch flame tight and I'm going to start from, just pick one. I'm going to start from one and I'm going to do a, a line that goes from that crease and I'm going to continue that crease to go down so I can follow that crease all the way to the top because I want that crease to go seamlessly from the bottom of the pumpkin to the top part of the pumpkin. And in order to do that is you got to follow that line. You got to have that start line. Now, after I do that, I could go to the next side or I can just continue going on to the next one. So I'll go to the next one just because I like to do it like that. It makes it easier to just go, go, go. It's already kind of warm and hot for you. So you just kind of like reheat it and go. So it's already, it's already looking like a nice little pumpkin just by me doing this. And, you know, no one taught me how to make a pumpkin. I just kind of figured this is what you do. But I know also that they teach you when you're learning in school, glass school, um, and I mean like soft glass, not borrow. Uh, this is what they teach you. They teach you how to make pumpkins. So uh, they say anybody can make a pumpkin and they say that only because they teach everyone how to make it, so they expect them to make, know how to make them. Um, so not everybody knows how, but they're so easy. The design is so easy that, I mean, you'd be able to figure it out even if you did it. You know what I mean? So, all right. So now I have every part, every line, every crease, continuing from each point from the center there. And I'm going to just give it a little bit more heat. I want to get rid of all those tool lines. I want to make sure it has no tool line. I want to give it a little bit more of a natural look. And I think I want gravity to kind of pull it all so that the feet are nice and fat. So when I put it on the table or wherever, um, it lays nice and flat and sturdy. And there should be no issue as far as... Yeah, see, I think I, I like the way that... I like the way that feels. So all I did was just make it sure that it was 100% uh, parallel with the uh, floor so that when you do have it sitting up, it's not sitting sideways or something like that. Although, you know, that might look cool too, but that's not what I'm going for here. So um, if I did, it'd be, a, you know, an accident. All right. 
Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll punny up with it, or I'll punny up to it, excuse me, and um, I'm gonna finish the other side of the pumpkin. But I think I wanna use a clear rod. Um, just because I'm using an orange Elvis, and if I use another color to punny up, it might leave a little color on it, and I don't want it, I don't want that to happen. I need it to look as orange as possible. So right now I'm just punning up to one of the foot, one of these little feet right here, and I'm trying to make sure that it's still when I spin it, it's on its axis, so that when I let go, when I still spin, this side over here should be without a wobble. This should just be straight. Look at that. If it wasn't on its axis, it'd be going like that. So you want to look for that. It's very important when you're glass blowing to keep everything on its axis so that um, when you're creating your piece, you're not fighting against gravity because that's your main, that's your main uh, enemy there. But it's also your friend too because you can have it work for you. It just depends on what you're doing. Um, but a lot of the times, you know, gravity would get in the way of a lot of things I was doing in the beginning. And I just learned how to like work with gravity because it's not going anywhere. It's not going to, you know, disappear out of nowhere. Uh, I'm not doing this shit in space, you know? So, of course. So once, you know, figure that out. This could actually be the way it's shaped right now. If you guys, if you look at it, it could be like the top of a, like a little banger, almost like a, like a carb cap, but it has a little hole, it has a little airway on the side because of the, the creases there. Um, so I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm actually going to flatten the top part a little bit. So it looks like a nice little flat, chunky little Halloween little pumpkin. Oh shit. And I forgot to turn my fucking phone off, so that's always cool. Um, anyway, sorry about that, guys. A little technical difficulty here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flatten this down like I was saying, and I'm going to have it look like a, like a nice flat, like a, like a fat little chunky little pumpkin in a pumpkin patch. Not so round. I want to give it a little bit different shape. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did to the bottom. I'm also going to do it to the top. But um, I do have to get a little bit larger of a gathering on the top because I want it to look like it's coming heavy on the top and then kind of tapering down towards the bottom. And right now it looks like it's going the other way around. So I have to kind of remelt it a little bit. And then once it's remelted, let the gravity kind of fall towards the the top here and I'm gonna go ahead and just push her in right there in the middle but because this thing's on its axis it should still be dead center and it is on its axis it did move a little bit so I have to just kind of reheat it so that it's straight and you'll see it right right when it's right when it's super straight it's not even it's not even straight but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of reheat this a little bit see if I can get it to go right back to where I need it to be if I can get it to go straight then it's fine All right, so it's almost there All right. Sometimes gravity, like I said, can be your friend. Right there was being my friend and my enemy at the same time. All right, so now that we're here at the top, I'm gonna make the top part, the little crater here in the middle, I'm gonna make it just a little bigger than the bottom because I want it to be like a nice, like a bowl shape almost, like noticeably. That's where I'm gonna put the, uh, the stalk the green stock there at the top. And we're gonna go ahead and continue these creases. 
with a dab tool. It's actually looking pretty cool. Um, and again, what I can do is I'll just pick one side and I'm just going to start. And as I go around, you'll start to see it uh, will definitely change its shape and its look. It's going to start looking more like a pumpkin. And that's one. Because it's Halloween, I've been doing a lot of these little pumpkins. And every Halloween, I do a lot of like gory, bloody stuff. So I'll take the stuff that I normally make and I'll just glorify it. Put a little blood here and there, uh, chopped up limbs or whatever, missing fingers, that kind of stuff. Um, vampire shit, zombie stuff, whatever I can do. And I think it looks pretty cool. You know, I usually do it around October, but I can do it any time of the year. Um, and I also do these cool little Freddy Krueger gloves, but like they're Mickey Mouse style. Uh, I like those look pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, so you know, check out my Instagram on Mr. Davenport on IG. Uh, I'm also on TikTok, but not really because I put a post up and they already, you know, they already flagged your boy like violation, violation. So I don't know. I got to figure that one out, but I'm on there. So if you guys want to check that out, I got a few videos on there that I don't have on Instagram. Um, I do like their little editor though. It's pretty cool the way you can like, you know, add the cool effects and it's pretty good as far as like, um, putting together a quick little video. So shout out to TikTok for that. But other than that, catch me on IG cause that's mostly where I'm at or here on Twitch. Damn. Okay. So this looks really good. This little pumpkin looks really good. I'm going to add the stock here on the top. I'm going to take that green that I used earlier, that same jade green, and I'm going to put it right here in the center. And I'm going to just bring it out, peel it off, and I'm actually going to give it that little flattening on the top so it looks like it got, um, <clears throat> so it looks almost like as if, uh, holy shit. You know, so it looks like you know, it was meant to be like that. These little parts here, they're so, um, you know, you got to be real meticulous with all this. You can't just be rushing and going through it. You're going to miss things. You're going to, one little miss and it could, you know, destroy the way it looks. The overall, the, 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 the total, you know, the outcome of how it's supposed to look like. But if you know how to fix it, you know how to fix it. So I think I got this one right where I want it. Um, yeah, so it's in there. It almost looks like a little bit of a, <laughs> like a, I want to say like a pepper, like a, some kind of a pepper. It does, it does look like a pumpkin though. It looks like those little pumpkins you buy that are like, you know, small, like really small. And they're just like short, fat ones. That's what this looks like. And that's cool. Because like, again, this is not a pendant. So it's actually better that it is like that because it'll be, It'll serve its purpose. It's like a little paperweight. Now I'm going to do this to bring the color out because I do want it to be like a little bit more orange. Right now it doesn't look really look orange. It looks more, um, I don't know, kind of beige, kind of tannish. But I know if I throw it in the kiln, once I got it in the oven and I let it soak in there for a little bit and it bakes, then um, it's good. Cool. This is going to be dope. I'm going to have time just to do another one of these bad boys. And again, this is going to be for somebody um, to claim it. It's a little paperweight, not necessarily a pendant, um, but it is cool. I like it. I'll show you once it's done how it looks like. And there's so many lines on this thing where I'm pretty impressed myself because 
Normally, I don't do this many lines. I mean, I do, but um, not like how I'm doing it right now. I'm going to add a little bit more green to the top because I noticed um, when doing this, it melted in a little bit more. So I just got to get a little more green. Go around it and then bring it out on the top, from the top. So this jade green right here can take a beating. Uh, it looks like it's beat up, and then when it hardens and it cools, it's um, it looks dope. It looks like it's supposed to, so um, it is a nice color. But it can look like it's getting beat up. I'm going to bring that color back by uh, warming it up real quick and I'm going to let this just anneal in the flame here for a little bit. I want to make sure that the core temperature everything is just right. I want it to cool down all at the same temp and uh, I'll show you the other one I did because it's cooled down by now. And this one I'm going to knock it off and put it on here but I'm gonna clean up this mark so that it doesn't cut you when it cools down. All right. So we're gonna let that one cool down here. Now this orange, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's pretty bright. It's got the uh, green on the top for the stock, a couple of vines, and just a cool little flat pendant. So when you wear it, if you were to wear it, it would still look like a pumpkin. Damn, this weed is really good, man. It got me pretty stoned, uh, the summer collection. I'm going to smoke another bowl, just because. Why not? You know what I mean? And... Uh, Shit. Your boy still got a bowl in here. Ooh. Man. Oh, man. That shit is delicious, man. Real good, real good flour. Really, really good flour. Crown, you guys, you guys are doing your thing. Shout out to Weeds to Smoke. Shout out to my boy Oswaldo. What's good? Oh man, <clears throat> that was delicious. Now I'm checking out the pumpkin here. The pumpkin looks great. Now that it's kind of like starting to cool down, the color, I wish I would have used maybe another color. I forget this orange in order for it to turn orange has to be in the oven. And I did not bring the oven with me today, which is totally fine. But um, there's no worries. This here is a color that I can probably work and maybe even get it to where um, cause it strikes in the kiln as well in the oven. So if it does, then, um, if I don't even need it, it's cool. Cause the bottom part's starting to look a little peachy, but it's not the orange that it's supposed to look like. It gets orange like this. It gets even more orange than that. Like it can get almost red too. It's a, it's like orange Elvis. So it comes, it's made from red Elvis. And I think North Star yellow or something like that, or. I don't know, but uh, it's a really nice color. I like it. Um, this color here is amber purple, which is also another nice color. And this one would be cool if I could, um, I'll probably turn this one into like a, since we're doing autumn stuff, I could do like a leaf. You know, that's kind of autumn-y, you know? Um, doesn't necessarily need to be pumpkins and all that stuff, but I do want to make a little something here. Uh, a lot of the times it is starts with a gather. 
but this is going to be a little bit of a different technique. You can use, um, they have these presses that you can buy. They already have the leaf pattern in it, but uh, we're going to kind of do one from scratch. And there's many ways you guys can do it. This is just the way that I'm going to do it on the show here. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean this is the way I do it, but you know, there's always, there's always more than one way to blow glass. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get a nice good gather because I want this leaf to be fairly big and I'm going to add a bale to it so you can actually wear it as a pendant. This color is really nice. Uh, even without throwing it in the kiln, we can probably get a nice color out of it. Get a little purple with some amber and uh, little hues of uh, the amber inside of the purple look nice. You get like blues and greens sometimes. The reason you want a big gather is because I want the leaf to be kind of big and it's also going to have to be pulled and stretched to the long. So the bigger the gather, just the more gather, think about the more ga glass you gather, the longer and the, the more uh, fatter you can like have your piece. If not, it'll be thin and it won't be as big. All right, so this gather is getting pretty big. I could have put this over like clear and then gathered that up and then had that going, but it's cool. We're just going to do it straight from a solid rod. <clears throat> now, once I get it flattened, that's going to be the other tech. There's a little bit of a a spiral on the inside, which I like. Um, I didn't mean for it to do that, but it does that because of the way I, I spun it. So I'm gonna flatten this out, and I'm gonna pull it and stretch it and get it looking elongated like a leaf. So on this one, it's okay that it's more fatter. If this is more like the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. The last one I did was more like the size of a nickel. This is a, yeah, this is definitely bigger than a quarter. But as I, again, I'm going to pull it down, it's going to change its shape. <clears throat> so with the same dab tool, you know, when you guys are starting off and you guys are learning how to blow glass, you guys don't have to really go all out and buy a whole bunch of shit and just because you want to, oh yeah, I got to have all these cool tools and all this stuff, man, just get yourself a good torch, focus on a couple of the necessary tools that you need. And, you know, a lot of times, you can create tools like I did out of a dab tool, you know? This is, what the fuck, you know? It's just an old dab tool. I, I don't even use it anymore, but I've been using it a lot for this, you know? So it just depends. Just a little tip. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just put a, a big line in the middle here. So it's, a, it's gonna be a double line. Line on this side, and then I'm gonna have another line on the other side. It's almost gonna create like a, like, you know, when the leaf, you have that center vein there, the mother vein, whatever, and it's just protruding forward from the leaf. So that's what I'm doing right here. And that's what I'm going to base all my little lines off of. So right now, when I pull it down, so right now I just have the two lines in it. When I pull it down and I stretch it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to have more of a leaf shape look to it. And that's what I want. I want that to look more like a leaf so i'm gonna get it hot up here but i want to get it hotter down here because i want this part to stretch and pull and go forward to make the shape of a leaf you want to get the tip of it hot so that it so that it um attaches to it if not it'll just it'll push it rather than attach and then right now it's starting to get to that point where it's going to get hot enough to where i can Pull it and stretch it. And we are gonna pull this bad boy down. And I'm gonna actually pull it a little more, but I'm gonna do a little technique, hit the core of it and get it to go a little longer. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And then now, since I did that, I can pretty much do this here, which will be the top part, which will be my bale. Now, I didn't bring the bale 
the, this little tool that I have that makes the bail. So I'm gonna do the bail how I normally would do it when I don't have it. Pull this down a little bit and I'm gonna pull this back like this. And I'm gonna attach it to the back side, just like that. And then peel it off. And just like that, it creates a little bit of a bail so you can wear it. Now I'm gonna melt that in there because I want it to, uh, I really want the stick to it, it's gotta be one piece, remember? You gotta melt it in so that it's one piece. But what I don't want is I don't want that to close up or anything. So we're gonna use a different tool. The same tool because it's not so, it's not so small. I can go in here and pull that out give it another reheat because I want again I want it to be hot I need it to be hot all right so this looks good I'm just gonna double heat I'm just gonna double check make sure it's it's in there how it's supposed to then I'm gonna just kind of give it the last final little clean up and the little marks for the leaves for the for like the little veins or whatever and that's going to be that for this so I just got to open this up here and I realized I don't have a certain tool but it's okay because there's more than one way, you know? You just gotta be patient, work with what you got, and everything's all good. So I'm not even worried, oh. All right, I like that, it looks good. All right, so I'm almost done with it. I like the way the colors are coming out too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Colors are, look, colors are looking really nice. Now I'm gonna add all the little lines in there for the uh, <clears throat> for the leaf, so you guys can understand. Like, I don't know, you can get a, an idea of what kind of leaf I'm making. And again, there's more than one way to do it, so it doesn't really matter. I'll show you what I'm doing when I'm done here. But I'm basically going along that little vein in the center and I'm adding little slits in it, which is going to give it that texture, which is going to give it that appearance of a leaf. Now, I just did one side. You always want to check with the glare of the light to make sure your, your scoring is on, is good. And I'm just going to go back here and redo some of these. But um, yeah, this thing's looking really good. And I'm gonna do the other side. So whatever you do the one side, you wanna make sure you do it to the other side. And that's how you'll keep it even. Yeah. So this is looking really good. It's all coming from like the center stem there. It's looking really good. Now I'm gonna peel it off. I'm gonna punny up to it and peel it off and uh, we're gonna let it bench cool here and let it cool down. But I, uh, man, I, the color looks really good on it. Really, really good. I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna take this color here. It's the same color as what I'm working with, the amber purple. And I like using the same color just because it doesn't leave that little punny mark. It does, but it doesn't leave it a clear. So I don't have to pull it out. Now I just proceed to pulling this off here. And then at this point you can kind of like 
you know, give it a little curve. And there it is. It's like a, a leaf you found on the ground. if you guys can see that but that's the leaf right there and that's just one way to do it you know uh, again there's more ways to do it I want to give a huge shout out to Cannabis Capital for having me you know always always supporting and you know you guys keep doing your thing shout out to all the followers if you guys are following and, and checking this out please leave comments I'd like to know I don't have that little thing with me today so I can't really check what you guys are saying, but don't worry about it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I still want to go back and see if anybody uh, commented. I'll give them their pick of the, either the leaf or the uh, the pumpkin or both. You know, you never know. It's all good. But it's smoke time, and I want to actually see that without the glasses on. Damn, that shit looks really, really sick. It's got different colors like uh, like a sage. It's got like a, a really like cool yellowish color. It's got the amber. You see the blues and the purple. You know, it's it's got quite the rainbow there. Um, I like it. It looks good. And uh, the pumpkin I did earlier, it's already cool. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. It survived. I just want to throw it in the, uh, in the oven when I get to the shop so I can bring the color out. But that one looks cool. Once that one's cooled down, we'll add it to the pile. Um, speaking of pile, I'm going to pile some more weed in this bowl. And uh, shit, I'm going to smoke. I just want to get blown, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I like smoking and then blowing glass. Uh, in a way, it's therapeutic, you know what I mean? It's also a cool little, like, cool little way to make some money. You just make shit. People like it, dude. It's all handmade, you know what I mean? It's all something you create and everyone creates everyone everything different uh, I always encourage people if they consider glass blowing or want to learn how to glass blow like just don't give up if you have it in you to do it go do it man uh, get with like a local shop in your area and I don't mean like a smoke shop I mean like a glass blowing shop and just kind of like get in where you fit in you know what I mean um, you know every shop's different um, you know, some people don't even have a shop. They just do it out of the garage or something like that. And that is their shop. So, you know, depending on where you're at, you know, either way, just don't get discouraged. Get yourself a cool little torch. Even if it's not the baddest one, it don't matter. You know, stack up your paper and then you can go out and get that later. You know what I mean? But just first get the fundamentals down and, you know, build it on your technique and go around. You know, if you really want to do it right, um, Travel a little bit and go see other glass blowers in different areas and see what, what they got going on, connect with them. You know, you know, it's just like that, man. You gotta be able to like network and, and get out there and, and um and you know, you're gonna find it. You're gonna find it. Like with these hands, I didn't mean to do these hands. I mean, these are just kind of like accidental, you know. So um it just goes to show you never know. You know, you might be who knows, you know, my boy Ilso, you know, he does hammers, you know. He, he didn't wake up one day and say, yeah, I'm going to blow glass and I'm going to blow ha uh, hammers because, you know, that's what I want to do. Nah, it was just something that happened, you know. So, you know, not to be discouraged or anything like that. If you are trying to find it, don't worry, it'll come. You just got to be patient. And that's another thing, too. Being patient with this is uh, going to get you a lot further. And, uh, you know, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Fist Glass and KSR, man. You guys are, um, you guys are doing it, man. Uh, I see you guys, you know what I mean? You guys are killing it. And uh, also to the homies, you know, K-Berg. Don't forget, shout out to the homie K-Berg. Uh, the homie Air, you know, 147, right there, doing his thing. Saf Glass, you know, all of them. Nando, the whole, the whole Bent Wizard, the whole, uh, the whole spot. Shit. And I also noticed I don't have my, my fucking, uh, <coughs> it's 
since I don't have my kiln, I can't really do like uh, this piece that I wanted to do, but I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. If you guys are tuning in to the uh, Bud Tender Awards on the 26th, <coughs> I'll be blowing glass here for the event. Um, and I think they're gonna be live or there'll be people that are, you know, that will be live during the event so you can check them out, uh, get a little sneak peek of what we got going on. I will have pieces. I'll have some really nice pieces. Last time I brought some really nice worked uh, uh, bongs. They're all beaker bottoms, fully worked, uh, wig wags, uh, CFL, UV, the whole nine. Um, yeah, I was having them right here and I had a couple of rigs, a couple of puff coat uh, tops, and um, of course my pendants. I will say that I'm gonna try to get my homie uh, Ilso out here on the next one. Uh, so we can blow glass together, kind of like a dynamic duo, and just you know he knows what time it is, I know what time it is, and we're just gonna we're just gonna get down. So um, I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. This weed is so good, man. I, I think I'm just gonna just end it on on a good one, bro. Where I'm gonna just kill this bowl, and I'm gonna say peace out. And I'm also gonna like um, hold on. Let me smoke this real quick. make sure I got my hands free for this one because <clears throat> I do want to show these pieces off that I do have um, I made these the other day this is like a little bit kind of like Halloween themed I got the Jack Skellington with the vampire teeth and everything um, just you know a little something something just for the sessions and stuff like that that I like to do and I don't know if you guys want to see this but here's the um, the pumpkins that I made I would grab that, but I think it's still a little hot, but either way, um, we're good. So, um, shit, I'm gonna just smoke this weed and call it a day, but again, appreciate you guys. This is uh, Mr. Davenport. Uh, I'm on the torch, obviously, obviously not. So thank you guys again, Cannabis Capital, everybody in the background doing what they do. I do appreciate you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I appreciate it. And you guys know who you are. Thank you guys for tuning in and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.